And that, guys, is the end of the video. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I was so super, super, super inspired by this makeup look that my friend here on YouTube created. Her name is Mariah Leonard. Or if you guys know her, her name is, or was at one point, the gal's guide. But like now on YouTube, you can put your own name. So it's Mariah Leonard slash the gal's guide slash I don't really know which one it is. But for a very large portion of this video, I was like, yeah, we're gonna do it on matte. But then I did get this eye color in the mail not too long ago. And I was like, fuck, I haven't used it on my channel yet. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. Okay, out. Get out of there. You're not like two months old and late anymore. You're gonna knock my table over. My cat just like standing on the very edge of my night table that already is not stable whatsoever. I'm like, that's just gonna make it fall over. So that's all I have to say for now. If you guys are interested in how I created this makeup look, then just keep watching. So I've already started off with my base makeup on. My inspo, I've already showed it to you guys in the intro, but is my lovely friend Mariah. And she has, I don't know if you can tell, she has like the most beautiful like burnt orange yellow tones on her eyes and then she wore a, a lipstick that's pretty similar to one that I have I have screenshot this uh, picture and I'm not really sure what she's wearing but that's my inspiration for today I actually have wanted to do this video for a while now um, but for some reason it was just one of those videos that I would always put off so I got my handy dandy a little Z palette full of all of these pretty eyeshadows. My grandparents came over yesterday and I don't know about you guys, but my grandparents are like super, 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 super retentive about like my room being clean and my room was just not clean whatsoever. What I kind of want to do with this look, I really want to keep the mustard tones and like the oranges in there but I'm not exactly going to do, I'm, I think I'm going to do a gradient from yellow to like maybe Makeup Geek, Coco Bear, Sienna. I may use one of my Inglot eyeshadows. I'm not sure. The first shade I wanna go into is Goldenrod from MAC, which is this bright yellow. Um, I have used it on my channel before. I don't know if you guys remember, but I'm just gonna kind of sweep this at the very upper part of my, I should probably get a mirror to do this. I want this yellow to be the uppermost shade in this gradient, but I don't want it to be too intense because I really, really, really want this to stay nice and warm. Next, I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek Chickadee. Come on, you guys know this one was coming. I'm gonna switch over to my BH Cosmetics 101 shadow brush, and I'm just gonna start working Chickadee in the crease area. So the funny thing is, is I remember I was telling um, I was telling my mom that I wanted to do this inspired video, and she's like, "Oh, why don't you just watch like, look at what she used, and like use that as inspo." And what I like to do when I'm doing kind of like inspired posts by other people is see what I can, I guess, make of it on my own, and then go back later and be like, "Oh yeah." It makes so much sense. I totally think that Chickadee was one of the colors that she used, just because, but could be wrong. Okay, so now that that Chickadee shade is pretty much blended into my crease, I'm gonna take this Morphe M503 brush, throw it against the room, hold on. I'm gonna take Anastasia Beverly Hills Sienna, and I'm just gonna start working this color just under where the yellow is and really just building it up in the crease area. I'm really just gonna take my time with this because I really want the gradient of the yellow to stay right above it. Needless to say, I can go back in with the yellow and just touch it up as I go, but I want to do as little work as possible, obviously. So now that that is down, I am gonna go back into my BH Cosmetics brush and I'm gonna swirl together a little bit of Goldenrod and Chickadee on the same brush and I'm just gonna diffuse those edges. And then I'm gonna go back in and rebuild that color. Not really worrying too much about getting it on the lid because the lid is actually gonna have something in the similar, I guess, family in terms of tone, but it's not gonna be this one, but it is gonna cover up the entire lid, so I wouldn't be too worried about it.
So now that that color is pretty much there, I'm gonna go into Anastasia Beverly Hills Henna, which is a shade that I've been lusting for for so long. I have not been able to get my hand on this shade ever, so I'm so happy that I finally got it. But I'm just gonna take it with my finger as I like taking pretty much all of my metallic shades. And I'm just gonna work this onto my lid. I was originally gonna keep this completely matte, but then I realized that this color is exactly what I want it to do, but just shimmery on the lids. Then I'm gonna take this other BH Cosmetics brush, which is nice and flat and synthetic, and I'm just gonna go right up above, right up along the crease and just refine that eyeshadow just the slightest bit. So now that that is there, I am just gonna start smoking out my lower lash line just the slightest bit. And I'm gonna go in with this Crown C4, C433 Pro Blending Brush. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Chickadee on it and just give myself a black eye. You guys know the usual. A lot of people ask me why I like blowing out my eyeshadow so far down. It actually like covers the eye creases that happen on my eyes. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, okay, I guess that works out. I'm just gonna take it on this other blending brush just cause that one is a little bit too harsh for me. This one is a C412 DLX pointed crease brush from Crown and it just makes it a lot easier to blow out that initial color. Going back into that first brush that we used on our lower lash line, the C433, I'm gonna go back into the color Sienna and I'm just gonna work that right up against my lower lash line. So I did need to switch my brush because that one just wasn't doing what I wanted it to. So I'm taking my Sigma E55 blending brush. This one is from the Nightlife collection, so it has the um, like the sparkly handle. But I'm just gonna work this right up against my lower lash line, just because it is dense enough that it'll pack that color on, but it's not so dense that it's gonna make like a straight line. Next, just to add a little bit of depth, I'm gonna go into Makeup Geek Americano, which is like one of my favorite shades ever. And I'm just gonna start kind of dotting that in the outer corner. Dotting it first. And just in circular motions, just blending that out. And then I'm gonna go back into that BH Cosmetics brush with more chickadee on it. And I'm just gonna run it all along the outer perimeter of the eye look. So I want the yellow to be the main focus. This is, I'm gonna go into the shade Amber from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this color, I used it so much in the summertime. And I'm just gonna plop that on the very inner corner of my eye just for some dimension. And so that is the eyes done right now. I'm just gonna go plop on my false eyelashes and I'll be right back. So this is what the eyes look like with the eyelashes on. I did use my Coco Lashes in Queen Bee. Wait, okay, so yeah, I decided to do that. I did put some mascara on my lower lashes, but I do want my eyelashes to be a bit more lashy so i am just gonna go ahead and grab a little bit more of my maybelline big colossal colossal big shot volume mascara and i am just going to let's do this i'm gonna take my cap on d shade and light palette and take the shade shadow play that i just got my finger all up in 
and i'm going to take that on my take it on this mini morphe brush that i have right here and i'm just gonna start really defining my cheekbones So now I'm gonna go into my Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in the shade Bronzed. I mentioned this in my 2016 Beauty Favorites. Did I? Oh no, I didn't. Oops, don't listen to me. And I'm just gonna bronze up my face to make it look like I'm a lot more tan than what I actually am. Also, I am wearing a Marvel t-shirt. Let's not judge me, okay? Thank you so much. Now to illuminate a little bit more, I'm gonna take my uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills to that Glow Glow Kit with the shade Golden Bronzed. And just add that right over my contour where I would put a blush. I recently have purchased this is just like, I don't have an actual place for them yet and I probably wouldn't recommend you keeping them stored up out in the open where the oxygen and germs can get them. But for now, these are the new um, Inglot Freedom System highlighters and I have purchased all of them. I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna take a mixture of the shades 152 and 154. And on this, it was like a crown um, brushes brush that came in one of the sets. I'm just gonna kind of mix both of them together. And then the thing that I really like about these highlighters is the fact that to swatch them, like if you're, if you base a highlighter off of its swatching ability, you're not gonna be impressed. But once you put it on your brush and you put it on your face, it's the most beautiful, like, from within kind of glow ever. Oh, I'm obsessed. The shade that looks the most like the shade that Mariah was wearing, this color right here, which is like a nice burnt orange, is the shade K from ColourPop. This is from like their Karushi and ColourPop collaboration. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that, guys, is the end of the video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. As always, all of the things that I use are listed in the description box below, as well as on my blog, malexander.com. Do you guys like seeing inspired makeup looks? Because I'll be honest with you, like I am so inspired every single day by everybody that I follow, like whether it be an influencer like Mariah or whether it be a makeup artist like, I don't know, like Linda Hallberg is my ride or die all-time favorite makeup artist in the entire world. I love her makeup look so much, but if you guys like seeing stuff that I do that are inspired by others, let me know. Some people don't like seeing them, which is fine to each their own opinion, but the majority of the part, they're my favorite type of videos to create for you guys. So just let me know down in the comments, you guys. Just look, just let a girl know, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one.